I would say some people are employed, yeah, but they are just as equal as someone who is not employed. Because you find you have your big ideas, but all these ideas, they are just useless because you're sitting behind a desk and whatever you are doing is not helping these ideas come through. No, no. So you may be having your idea, but as long as you're seated behind a desk somewhere, constrained by someone's rules and regulations and policies, you'll always be growing someone's idea. So I would say the bigger problem actually is not even unemployment. The bigger problem is people following their passions and the things they have always wanted to do in, with their lives. No, no. We have a church and we confidence in forex. Yeah, so my name is Julius Nana, but um, Kiusani na Julika kama na watches and um, Nana break it down, producer Nana, wengo na njua hivyo ya ni Kiusani. And um, nimezaliwa Mokweni County, and there's a place called Kibwezi. That's where I've grown up. Nimesome ya kule primary school, public school, like any other one, a kid, mwenye me grow up in a rural area. It was not like the privilege in society, yeah. So I grew up like any other ordinary Kenya, no, no. So kutambia mguchuma kuenda shule, nini, nini, kupikiwa shule, ni sazingo kataa kupikiwa, munaenda kula nyumbani jioni. The same, same hustle that most of Kenyan kids are going through. That's the kind of education that I went through. And then after primary school, of course, I joined high school, a boy's school. <coughs> I was very tiny, but they have grown up. <laughs> yes. I've grown up, I was very tiny, but I managed my four years, Vizuri, Kamaliza in high school but of course let me mention this because i believe a lot from the son especially my what i'm doing right now so in high school i was so much into music like i was in um in the school band uh then of course high school ikapita but of course itam yote ukopeke yako ali kimziki i had very musical brothers like kinazakat alfiat and the others who are not musicians right now so um encouragement sana kutoka kwa my brothers wangu and of course at some point also my dad was a bit appreciative of music yeah because i remember he bought me a guitar in class seven i was so passionate about uh, playing the guitar and he bought me a very nice guitar which of course nilijifunza now and kalea kupenda muziki zaidi yeah and sasa nimefika hapa nikaingia kampu kafanya purchase and supplies actually I'm a graduate but msijasomea muziki yani anasema kwa campus nifanya a business course purchase and supplies management nikamaliza nikaingia job like any other ordinary graduate that is miaka mingi iliyopita nikisema sasa utajua miaka yangu miaka mingi iliyopita but um what i can say is after shule nika after graduating nikapata job and i got a very good job by the way yeah that's a job with a bank and i've worked there for several years like around six seven years and then before leaving now to full-time business yeah and then what you mentioned he because your production pia nimesomea but that was now after campus nimesomea kando ya ni music production and sound engineering yes yes i'm a kando sasa yeah so now that is now my business nikawacha wambo ya kuemployiwa now managing myself running my empire i would say some people are employed yeah, but they are just as equal as someone who is not employed. Because you find you have your big ideas, but all these ideas, they are just useless because you're sitting behind a desk and whatever you are doing is not helping these ideas come through. No, no. So you may be having your idea, but as long as you're seated behind a desk somewhere, constrained by someone's rules and regulations and policies, you'll always be growing someone's idea. So I would say the bigger problem actually is not even unemployment. The bigger problem is people following their passions and the things they have always wanted to do in, with their lives. No, no. We have a church and we have confidence in Forex. But I'm told, I'm sure you music, but they don't want to follow music. Or like at the comfort of an office, a salary at the end of every month, evil to your comfort, you're in a family to work disoriented from whatever their purpose is. No, no.
Mm-hmm. So I would say um, my biggest challenge is joy cause kazi mimi nasema because after campus I got a job immediately. Then of course from the job now I got I got to the other side of business now full time. So sijapitia the unemployment kind of situation but nasema <laughs> in my employed years of course I was struggling within myself. I want to do something to do with music. My passion is music. I love piga biashara ya muziki. But sina your uh, confidence because na feel I what about the good monthly salary you know? Will I make it to in, in business such a way that I'll break even the feel that I've not lost anything you see you have responsibility of, of course as time goes by so there's that fear nitaenda kwa biashara alafu unaona so I, I would say the biggest problem is someone being passionate and confident enough to follow the idea no matter how hard it may be but just to follow the idea uh, I've been passionate since my childhood about music and anything to do with music basically music business and it's something that I've always dreamed doing you know so uh, even in campus like all my, my school life young we were going to fikiria to music and kufanya something to do with music because it was my passion tangu nijijue yani aze ilikuwa tu passion yake muziki kila mtu alikuwa anajua pale nyumbani you know so it's something that was within me and that's the only thing that hata nikilala usiku ndio kitu nafikiria hata nikaenda kwenye kazi ara nikika kwenye hiyo bienda desk i know i have a good salary but the only thing that would just strike my mind is what are you doing with your passion you know so number one what drove me to do this is my passion and the thing that i wanted to follow for the rest of my life because satisfaction ni kitu muhimu sana you can earn all the biggest money in this world but you may end up not being satisfied so when you do something that you love you end up being satisfied and so yes passion drove me to do business and of course number two, <laughs> i would say um, everybody is looking for good money Yeah. And you can never b- uh, uh, get good money in employment. You'll always be saa zingine unakata kuongeza mshahara, unajua. But there are people who are making a, a world impact kind of a transformation through their businesses. You've seen Kina Jack Ma, you've seen um, so many other people who the ideas, yani is my break even the whole world, you know, making very good money. So if you want to make good money, then business is the way, not employment. So of course I was looking for something that can I can I can say 50 years down the line if I'll still be alive <laughs> yeah, the angle grow throughout Africa and throughout the world. And the only thing that would meet, uh, lead me to seeing that ni biashara yangu mimi mwenyewe. I've been in the business for four years, like around four years right now. <clears throat> and I'd say that um, business is challenging. Especially music business, it's challenging. And actually even every other business is very challenging to start because biashara ni raj capital biashara inahitaji kupushiwa like you need to promote your business out there how do you manage that without money you can't so there are challenges and again you need to establish yourself even if you see uh, these big companies kana safaricom they came after airtel unaona but they managed to overcome like to overtake airtel unaona how because their strategy was different and trust me their strategy was very expensive you know so for you to come into the business and go at the top of the market then you need to differentiate yourself and of course the challenge is for you to differentiate yourself you need money yeah so a uh, great challenge your money capital how do i push my business to the next level how do i start an idea that will push me to the to the next level that will break the, the boundaries you know so money is a challenge then number two, and the same you need the knowledge to manage a business there's a very big difference between mtu ajaye anda shule ku manage biashara na mtu ambaye anda shule ku manage biashara they may be successful in their own ways or another because ushawana to ushago the other kuna wale watu reach ushago ajaye anda shule una wholesale nini nini na nini na nini but point yangu ni if you want to manage a corporate business you need the corporate mind yeah so i'd say ni pause some happy ya biashara if it's something that is a bit technical like music production so mea because if you don't somewhere you'll get a challenge like automatically yeah get engaged with the corporate market understand um, make alliances with the right people you know jua kama mimi sasa hii i need to make alliances with people in the, in the media like you guys you know i make alliances with such people and how do i get there if i don't have the connections you see so challenges will always come your way every time you do business but the point is if you're ready for anything you'll always overcome everything biashara inalipa Ninalipa vizuri. The good thing with business is growing every now. You can sleep today, wake up tomorrow a millionaire. You can get a big deal right now or even get a big deal spread out in there throughout the year. So I'd say either way biashara inalipa. Inalipa better than being employed. Yeah. Okay. 
as long as you have every factor put put in in the right place and everything put in the right place you'll always make better income out of business compared to employment yeah so biashara inalipa zaidi so to be specific uh, to set up a media 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 company that is a, a production studio and video production mm-hmm. studio um, <laughs> number one, you need the skill need the skill set if if you're not if you're not if you're not a professional in the area then you need to get people who are professionals in the area if it's the area of videography you need to get professional videographers cinema cinema guys you need to get um, uh, uh, professional music producers arrangers you just need to get the professional people in every bit of your organization whatever you're starting get the, a professional in every bit because if you don't get a professional then you'll always underperform to your clients and that's one thing of course i have tried to do yeah mm-hmm. i have a professional in every department in every area to make sure that my client receives even more than they expect leading a team is of, of course you have to deal with uh, group dynamics everybody is different everybody has different weaknesses everybody has different struggles and kila mtu pia na potential zake different na wale wengine but i'll say that it's the cohesion of all this that makes the team successful and i'd say that okay my team scopes from video directors to music producers to arrangers and uh, photographers and trying to put all of them together unasikia me spend kufanya kazi na huyu me spend kufanya kazi na huyu but you have to deal with all that and 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 iron everything out for you to have a successful team so yes kuna group dynamics team dynamics you, you have to deal with like with every other team leave alone my own company even in any other company every boss has to deal with, deal with that team dynamics yes so it's challenging yes yeah, but i would say it's it's good working with young people they have always uh, 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 very very innovative especially in this in these careers we are talking about videography photography music production and what wanaena jingine yani nzuri sana for the industry and you see the kind of industry that we are in right now receives fresh stuff unajua so there are people who've been in the industry for long so trust me over time they've been juiced out whatever they can offer so young people have something fresh that everybody wants to hear you know so working with a young team is of course a very good thing because it's going to place you ahead in the market because these people have fresh talents yeah so i would say that many idea kwa hivyo sana hata where where like where we are on the map right now i think it's because of um, of the input of these young minds yeah and of course sometimes i have to work with people with experience when you mesha kwa kwenye industry for long especially in the video directing and so forth yeah because of course there are kuna na ujanja zingine ambazo pia sisi hatujasoma bado yeah so we all need uh, a step ahead and even go back put it together for us to age in the market of course i'm inspired number one, there's a self something you call self drive and self drive within me is my passion yeah my passion for what i'm doing and i have a vision that i have to wake up to every day I have a mission that I have to manage every day. And the vision of course is to make this an empire, not only with an impact in Kenya but also East Africa, Africa and the whole world at the end of the day. How do I achieve that? You know, from the name Hewane, yeah, I want to st- to rock the airwaves, yeah. How do I rock the airwaves in a better way every every day? How do I manage my scope in the market to make sure that I'm reaching a bigger market every day? Yeah. So that drives me to do something new to think outside the box and start something new every day yeah study further research further so every day i have something that i'm doing because what i want to achieve is yet achieved so i have to achieve it so every day i'm pushed do something to achieve what you are yet to achieve because ukishanga even the government is really supporting the young people for you to get a tender right now in a government institution it's very easy you will get a certificate that allows you not even to pay for things like tender securities and so forth like you don't have to pay anything you just need to apply so if you qualify financially and even this sometimes they even waive the financial capacity of a young a young enterprise you know so i would say the government has idea sana my youth especially those who are in business and and i would say government is doing everything to ensure that young people are, are scoping better in the market yeah so but at the same time <laughs> young people mpaka wawe na initiative because you can't be pushed to do something that you don't want to do so at the end of the day the the, the ball ends with, with the young people yeah what do you want to do with your life as a young person if you have an idea do you understand where to start sasa kuuliza my youth wengi if you have an idea how how can the government help you ngoma mtu atakwambia najua yeah yet we have youth funds all over but nobody has tried you know so i think the young people what they need is they need to expose themselves to knowledge if i want to do a business and a big one what are the possible opportunities yeah 
Now, let me tell you, there are many people who are being helped by the government, and I'm sure even if today you search, you'll see some testimonials. What are my can as young people to start businesses? So, opportunity is equal, but young people need to embrace them. <laughs> Back five years, yeah. I would quit my job immediately, like employment immediately, and get to this business. Yeah, because five five years back I was still employed. I still thinking to myself that I hey, should I quit or should I stay for long? Yeah, but I wouldn't say at EP employment is ID. I don't want anybody to get that indication because everything that I needed and I required to start this business, I got all that capital from my employment. You know, saving time after time. That that's why I managed to start this empire. So at some point, employment is important. If you want to set a base that you need employment at first, come on and join a pesa. If government is not there to help you, if nobody is there to pump some capital uh, to, your, to your idea, then of course you need to work for it. And how do you gonna work for it? Then you get employed, get some money, start your idea, quit employment, push your idea. My biggest success is putting artists out there, my products out there. And my products, some of the products in Wasani. Yeah, I have Zak Art, I have Glad Mushai, I have Kim Kim, and many other who are still coming to, to, to the limelight. Yeah, but I would say, um, having these people being nominated awards to awards, when I skis on our na penda kwenye market, that is one of my biggest achievements because it tells me I'm scoping through the boundaries. If you don't love something, there's no way you'll ever ever do it with all of your heart. Number one, you have to change your mindset. Love that employment if it's the only thing that you can do at the moment. Because if you have to succeed even in that employment, you have to love it. Yeah. Mimi have a studio. I can't push this idea unless I love it. I'll always be sleeping the whole day, not even thinking about the future of the company. So it's the same thing you find. Someone is waking up to an employment every day. I and that's at such particular point they cannot even think about growing the company to the next level. They're just thinking, let me go get my salary, go back home. So just love the job because even promotions within the employment sector come out of hard work. People will appreciate what you're doing. If you're working, uh, working harder, then you'll get a promotion or even a better pay. So work hard, do your best at your current opportunity. Actually, at the end of the day, God, I'm going your opportunity. So it will be a power. You never know where it will take you tomorrow. Yeah, just be positive about everything and count your steps. So come on in time employment, count your steps nicely, Ujue. Okay, I'm gonna work for two years, but three years I'll be out of here. So let me do my best here. At the moment I get out, I have the best out of this. I would say at the start of every business, um, losses are inevitable. Lazimo make losses. Yeah. And I would say I made losses when I was starting because you're paying bills, but still I want a clientele enough, you have to sustain like all those bills. So you have to go back to your pocket for some time before you get and enough clientele to break even what you're getting and your bills. So I would say, yes, there's that period whereby every business has to make losses. Yeah. So I did make losses, but over time, um, investing in marketing and promotion, of course, I, le I was able to grow my clientele, get more clients, and of course, supplement my business needs and of course, make profits. End of day. For you to start a business, like I had said earlier, number one, whatever you're doing, you need the skill set for that. Have the skill. Usijichoche. Eti sasa niliona na nana kuwa producer. Hacha niende ni kaya kaya po ni angali angalie. Ni jaribu. Do not try. Get the right skill set. Enda shule. Eva. Learn everything that you need to learn in regard to your business idea. Number two. Make sure that you have at least a basic capital to start. Usianzisha kama huna. Eh hey, ni mwana nana na studio. Unaenu una, una, una chukua room. Unaangalia. Wakati umesha chukua room umelipa rent. Then you are realizing. Ayya ah, sijafanya acoustic treatment. Ebu ni uliza acoustic treatment ni how much 200k. Ayya ah, ya ya ya. What do I do now? You see. So make sure that you have the capital calculations with you. Ujo what you require. Do research. Uliza watu wajabakua kwa biashara. Try to benchmark. Uyu alifanya na unaganya. Kansi ya biashara. What is the least capital I need? What is the maximum capital I need? You need to understand. What is the capital requirement of the business? Yeah. And then number three I would say. <laughs> be stay professional stay professional you can do all those things but unless you're professional in the way you handle your business it a kufa so what keeps your business like day to day what drives your business remain uh, professional how you handle your clients Yes, I mean, it's a fun one. Still, you're not killing kids. You're not doing anything. I'm a capital. You're not doing anything. You're not doing anything. You're not doing But now, if you're not able to manage the customers, what are you doing? You're not giving them a job. 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 You
lipa mshwa sha lipa sa piga project mbona sikusukumba miezi tatu jamba project they will never come back and of course they will never tell someone to rudi kwa nana tuka produce because they will always tell do you will them say wacha kabisa unajua so you are killing the market for yourself so in the in the real sense you are not gaining anything from the market so the thing is have the skill set uh, get the capital right and stay professional to sustain your business um uh, dealing with people i'd say that everybody has a reason to whatever thing they do even the arrogant one there is a reason why they are arrogant and the thing is don't take the arrogance and work with it like judge everybody with it i'm just giving an example of arrogance there are many things and very many characters that people can exhibit but the point is everybody has a reason why they do what they do yeah there's a reason why <laughs> your hair is the way it is Unajua sasa sasa kupata offense hapa. Hona hawa vijana wa siku hizi unajua. Hona wao wanafanya nywele nini 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 nini. Everybody has a reason to what they are doing. Get a, get get yourself away from reasoning for other people because they already had their reasons, they had through the process of thinking and they made a decision. So please, kama mtu amekuja sasa for example, customer ameingia hapa. Ewe hey, bidii tu apige na pesa ngapi? Mwambie 8000. Ah wewe wana wewe unalipisha pesa mingi nyinyo mnanyanyasa watu kwa industry nini hapo kama right okay as kugani there are people have engaged such people yeah sio zaweza kumwambia boss kiza nianze kumsomea una get nitamwambia eh boss naelewa lakini sasa unajua ni hali ya biashara kama vile tuweza enda Nairobi uingie taskis uingie supermarket ingine upate vitu zinazoza different wewe unaweza kwenda kukoropishana management pale sio nini na nini na nini ni vile biashara ipo it's an open free market you can buy or fail to buy and go to probably to another place and get whatever thing you want maybe at a cheaper cost if you feel that's what really you're looking for but of course everybody is different others will come they say eh 8000 you ni kidogo bana kidogo equality 8000 eh ni kidogo sana so i'd say everybody has their reason maybe ule reason yake ni ajawai kwa kwa studio before that's why they are complaining all over what if i take all that into me yanza kunisumbua akili yanza kutaranisha na eh i'm giving myself stress i defy so let people be challenge ya music production na biashara ya muziki number one i would say is the industry of course you've seen kina will paul cry all over you've seen kina calligraph and other big artists crying for because i'm just kid not pay them no these are people supposed to be paying us as producers and paying my artists and other artists to attach to my to my label yeah so if this is happening in the mainstream Najua there is a big problem of course there is money getting lost that we are supposed to be gaining that's a big challenge in this in this industry the other big challenge is of course um, the empress the empress of music in Kenya unajua si kama vile Tanzania wamekupokea muziki wa kwa Kenya sisi kidogo tuna struggle the way we receive our music so there is a market challenge where you find okay you're giving out your good music but the reception is not as good as it's supposed to be so you're not making enough money as you're supposed to make yeah but you shall go on a simu wa youtube ni nini you supposed to earn from youtube you have a challenge there already no na unaambia watu sikiza sikiza mbona kwa mbezo kelele niliwacha una get so challenges will always be there but of course every day we are getting new ways to overcome them i love water msiseme nimetoka ukambani ndio maana but i just love water <laughs> anything to do with water the sand the, the environment the cool environment the forest there i just like the landscape and everything in hawaii so i wouldn't mind like even five months one year of vacation there yeah i would say that diversity is, is something that i want to say that strikes out everything I've, i've i've been to uganda and the people there they are the same people like in kenya yeah people there are a bit a bit ash yeah it's diversity you know because they are ash because of the way i present myself as a kenyan naenda pale nasema cheki how do i get to one place they are like you're supposed to to greet people nicely supposed to how are you sir how was your day how did you wake up how are your kids no I don't, in kenya we don't have time for that yeah boss nikona aka even wapi mtu anakuonyesha tu story na isha lakini pale ukienda hivyo ebuzra somewa you have no respect you have no courtesy so you see diversity but end of day it teaches you something and as much as you don't do it here doesn't mean that it's not important it means that there's a way of life that every other person may not appreciate or may appreciate but if you were to get and borrow the best out of it you can live a very nice life so diversity yeah i want nana to be remembered for the impact that he's going to make in the music industry as a producer and a, a record label president i want um, africa to, to to hear good music good talent from kenya
those who are underprivileged but they have the talent, I want them to reach the boundaries even that exceed Africa from my own support. And I want people to remember me for <laughs> being helpful and having an input in their music career. Yeah. So yes, once I achieve that, of course I can never like say it may fulfill the same It's something that I'll do mbaka ni kufe to yeah one. But I want people to remember me for that. That I had an input, a very positive input in their music journey. As many, as many, as many as possible, especially upcoming talents. To every other person, maybe and maybe two thousand shillings, five thousand shillings, ten K and say me young and dark for your life yak. Number one, kula many will rush and say, Hey, you know when ye kwenye tv huwa naweza nisaidia na nipiga muziki usijaribu muziki na hiyo pesa kama una talent anyway that was off the, the hook the point is if you have your money it doesn't matter how much it is there's always something you can do with it but the point like i said is seek knowledge if today you get to the internet and say what business can i start with let's say 5000 shillings you always get like a million of ideas that you can like um, I do with that 5g's so the thing is try get knowledge kuna watu hapo mtaa wanapiga busy kuuza fish try find out what they are doing like there is an idea that can only interest you when unaijua so just try ask get knowledge find information see what you can do with, with that 5g i may not be able to tell you like right now anza nda kuuza mtumba nini na nini nini but i'll tell you seek knowledge and it doesn't matter if it's 500 shillings or 1000 bob you will always get a good idea to do a business good idea to do with that 500 shillings there are many ways to earn as an artist and I know people are, are following the like the, the, the already established ways of earning skizas gmcsk priest nani 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 but tell you what people who are earning big monies in music right now in, in the whole world they're not earning from um, 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 priest or even royalty bodies no they're not earning from these people they are earning from their own sweat like ile unaenda una sweat like literally you're going for a show they are making to us the whole world they are touring the whole world sho moja na mlipa pesa mingi sana you see they are selling their music on other platforms and yeah nobody is controlling you are the control of your music amazon is there there are many other platforms where people are selling their music one on one to the client you get your share the, the platform gets its share there are so many other platforms that you earn directly from your direct distribution from music uh, yako to the art, uh, to the consumer there in the market so i think people should go that direction where you're selling your music direct to the consumer no i know youtube is there and other platforms whereby people are just getting free music but trust me uh, consumers of music don't only come from kenya that people will buy your music even outside kenya so even don't look at the boundary at the same time sell your music even platforms that are outside kenya we've seen diamond sell his music in kenya Yeah, we've seen other people sell their music outside their countries and they're making good money even outside than within their borders so the thing is let's try and explore other ways of making money especially where, where you find that you're selling your music direct to the consumer let's try those those platforms apart from kuka even ngojea someone will pay you some certain amount of money you don't know you can't even track you'll always keep complaining especially this is kenya you'll always keep complaining try platforms where you can track your progress your sales yourself yeah And I think those are the platforms that will make you art as an artist. One thing I would say is that um, art has no rules. And if art had rules, we wouldn't be having new styles of music and new artists coming up with new genres and so forth. So art has no rules. And I would say whatever is happening right now in the music industry in Kenya, I don't know as give it to some some people are not accepting nini nini. I appreciate because that is art. They've gone out of their kawaii the kawaida expectations from the market and they are doing something different with their art. That's awesome. That is commendable. Actually that is very excellent. The only problem that we are having right there is um <laughs> art has no rules but society has rules. No no. And society has morals and morals are rules that's the unfortunate bit whereby you find some things may be offending some people others may not be offended by that and that's the only challenge we have but apart from that challenge the art alone i, I would say that is outside the box is something that is making them stand out in the industry and that's actually now we can be able to talk about them because they have done something that is like ex factor in them yeah so i would say that is something commendable but the thing is Uh, we have issues with society so what advice does us say come sani ni if you want to please society then try observe the morals but if you are not after that then go face it and be ready for the repercussions yeah if mutu abans your music be ready for it you know and such but i would that those would be my comments yeah basically uh, one thing i would say is this music i can't tell if it's timeless or not timeless 
and because the only reason I can say that is um, you never know. It may be the, it's the new world revolution. Maybe it's the new world age whereby things will just change and permanently they've changed. I can't really tell tomorrow. But the only thing I can say right now, these people have a market, a market that is not going anywhere. You know, a market of young people who are appreciating the content so well. And that market is not going anywhere. Actually, it's been filled up after every day. Young people are still coming. As people progress to the next stage of life, when they young, So I would say is that uh, their music, ukiangalia sana and music ya my youth. See music ya, let me give another example. Vijana, tuwajamia narati. That's good music, but the point is, the, the target is not to a certain kind of age. It's a certain topic that just captures everybody. You get. But now the style of these young men is <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> young men. Okay, this this style we are talking about, these people are targeting young generation. People who are teenagers and a bit past teenagers. Now at our end Mali, that gap will always be there. You know. So I would say maybe this music is not going anywhere. It will still be there even ages to come. Maybe actually even to grow even into something bigger and better. They'll just be something better. Yeah? We we are on social media. You can get us on IG, Ewane Records, Ewane Media, Nana Music KE, that is me. And the same for Facebook, Ewane Records, Ewane Media, Kila Mahali. And uh, Twitter, every other place. YouTube, Ewane Media, Nana Break It Down, My Artist, Zach Art, Glad Mushai, Kim Kim, and the rest. Physical location, we are located at the heart of Juja, a tall building by the name Juja Professional Center on the fourth floor. I'm going to go to Juja Stage, Vithika Road, Bushafika.